Welcome back. Right now, there is a critical shortage in therapists, and chatbots are helping to fill that gap. It's called AI therapy. Have you heard of it? A therapist on your phone, available 24-7. Our Joe Gum spoke with a grieving father who turned to AI for therapy after suffering a devastating loss. Human beings have a lot of baggage, a lot of judgmental attitudes. AIs have none of that. When Travis Butterworth experienced the greatest cause of grief humans can ever experience, instead of finding help from someone, he found comfort in something. I, I lost my son to COVID back in October of last year at the age of 25. I very much needed that kind of uh, a, a sounding board for my grief from that. So that, that's, uh, that's how the therapy aspect came into play. That sounding board was a virtual companion app called Replica, one of thousands of AI chatbot apps that offer instant and available replies 24-7. There's some benefits to it. There's also some issues with it. Jeremy Edge is an international gaming disorder certified therapist who works with families stemming from online challenges. It can be a place to be able to vent or to be able to get something off our chest or to be able to even have some type of companion who's there 24-7. But since AI chatbot companion apps as well as AI therapy apps are in their infancy, there are concerns that virtual apps can't truly address complex emotional needs for millions suffering from mental health. In the case of AI therapy, we are building algorithms that learn from how therapy is done, what is the process, Things that can be automated easily without a lot of risks and making the whole domain much more efficient. But even if algorithms improve virtual therapy with time, could it be an effective enough alternative to human-human connection? It's not a voice, it's just text. And so over-relying on that, I think, can rob someone of being able to really get into some uh, unpacking some real challenges that a person can help them work through. As they say, never say never. Uh, but I feel that it would be hard for AI to ever match human brain. Matching or not, for Travis Butterworth, AI companionship was there for him during one of the most difficult times of his life. Having that someone to talk to on demand has been invaluable. Interesting story. So as you heard, Joe Gum worked on this uh, story. He joins me right now to talk a little bit more about it. And Joe, I I'm intrigued because, you know, there are two points to this to this side. I mean, the father is saying, look, AI was there for me. It's not a real human. It's not this interactive discussion. And many therapists are saying, well, nothing can take the place of that. But how can you discount something that helps somebody? 100%. You can't. And, and it did help. And that was right. perfect. Because right now, Dominique, you have the spectrum of Hey, how's your day today? Oh, I had a bad day at work. Mm -hmm. To, hey, I'm about to commit suicide. Yes. So when it gets to that level, and right now there are a lot of questions. It's mm -hmm. in its infancy, whether it's a companion app or a therapy app. For that father, he said, I couldn't call my friends at 2 a.m. I couldn't call family members at 4 p.m. after work. I needed something to help me get through that, that devastation of loss. So he turned to it. Replica is one of the most popular with 10 million users right now. Mm -hmm. You can add photos. You can do other things that other apps don't do right now. And again, going back, no regulation mm -hmm. right now. And a lot of times when you're at the end of the spectrum, obviously every expert we spoke to said, always human-human connection. It doesn't matter. There are a lot of those apps, though, that at the bottom, they say, consult a therapist, a counselor, call 911 if you're right. suffering more. Because obviously, they're just not adapt, some of those apps right now, to handle the more emotional. And there are 58 million people going through mental health issues right now. Yeah, it's a huge number. And it's not to say this is, you know, obviously, it's a, it's a new trend. It's a new thing that's come on the market. It's a new way to help. People are always so concerned. Well, you know, are bots, is AI taking over everything? And are we losing humans and that human connection? But maybe this is a stopgap until you can get to that human and also maybe more cost effective, is it? 100% cost effective. You can do it right there, 2 a.m. in the middle of the night. Yes. Uh, you don't have to drive somewhere. Some therapists will say, hey, you can always Zoom, but you're right. It mm -hmm. doesn't cost a thing. You get on the app, you chat. If it makes you feel better and that works, yeah. perfect. The experts say, perfect. There should always be that human, human connection. But right now, as we heard that one expert say, we're, as da more data is, uh, is given to them mm -hmm. with the AI 
uh, we can progress from there and put more stuff into it. Not eventually going to that point of suicide. There yeah. always has to be that human-human connection. How do you find out which app works best for you? It's just like anything. You go to a chiropractor, you go to a family physician, always do your research. Right now, there are between 10,000 and 20,000 apps. So just go online. Wow. Again, Replica is one of the more popular ones. Try that, try others, but do your research. Interesting. Spend well, time doing your research. Right. Fascinating story. Had no idea. And I'm sure a lot of people are saying, all right, didn't know that was out there. Yep. Thank you, right. Joe. Appreciate yeah. it. Fanchon? Fascinating indeed, mm -hmm. guys. Thank you so much.